guys today it was absolutely amazing I got a morning workout in and then I went to Zilker Elementary School and did sprints there was like a group of 50 people out there doing sprints which was incredible um, anyways if you're just tuning in my channel for the first time my name's Amanda I live in Austin Texas and I'm gonna talk to you guys about bulbs <laughs> Um, it's just a, it's questions I get all the time on Instagram about, um, about boobs. So I thought I would just clear the air and talk about it and answer some frequently asked questions that you all have. Look at this. Mm. Normally, I don't like to film when the sun's setting because it'll start out really light and then it'll get really dark. So hopefully I can get through this quickly anyways I did get a boob job in March of 2016 it was something that I wanted as long as I can remember. I saved and I saved and finally I was like you know what I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna make a appointment for a consult it wasn't really something that I talked to other people about it was a decision decision that I made for myself and nobody else's opinions really mattered so I went to my consult and um, set up a surgery date for two weeks later and I just did it I didn't tell very many people I just did it and I wanted to get boobs because I lost a ton of body fat when I started working out and so and then I would gain weight so my my um, bra size fluctuated between like a 36 C and like a 32b and so even then I could probably fit my fist in my bra um, and I was just really uncomfortable with how inconsistent that was and when I started losing weight and losing my boobs and I was training chest more often I just didn't feel as feminine as I would have liked to have felt so I decided to get the surgery so I did a ton of research uh, before my surgery to really make sure that this was the right decision for me and it was either um, a saline or a silicone implant uh, many women in my family do have implants and they have the saline ones and I've always liked the natural kind of like look and feel of them and that's what I wanted for myself too so I went with the saline um, implant and I got them under the muscle and my incision uh, was actually underneath of my breast and um, I didn't want to go through the nipple or anything I didn't like the way that those scars looked initially when I went in for my surgery um, pre-op I was gonna do a 360 cc and um, felt like that was a pretty modest size for me when I got in there I was like oh <laughs> Everybody I've talked to has wished that they went bigger than they did and so I decided to go for a 420 cc went in for my surgery He was like count down from 10 and I said 10 and I was out I woke up and immediately I felt like there was like a elephant laying on my chest It hurt me to do simple things like pump the soap in the bathroom I didn't know you actually used your chest muscles for that, but you do I was probably in bed for one whole week after that I was going to the gym and I was just riding the bike or walking on the treadmill I was not getting my heart rate up I was not really sweating I was just kind of there kind of weird going back to work the second week typing answering the phone all of those movements still felt awkward for me week three I switched over to the Stairmaster and I was doing some light stair mastering and then in week four I introduced uh, like stationary leg training machines so I was doing like leg extensions um, the seated leg curls and abductor adductor exercises things like that and then week five I would say I pretty much resumed to normal activity right after the surgery it was all adjusted I was using like five pound dumbbells for lateral raises and things like that while I just got used to the movement um, but I was pretty much functioning after that sleeping was pretty hard I went from having like no boob to like laying on my back and having boob over here so it just felt weird same with when I slept on my side and they touched I was like ah what is this I never had these before um, so Overall, recovery was not bad. Um, now, my training is kind of impacted, I would say. I don't train chest, um, just as a more of a personal preference. Um, 
I haven't trained chest at least in, a, in the year and a half that I've had them. I have recently incorporated a lot more push-ups. Um, I've been doing the pec deck, um, like chest flies, probably the extent of the work that I do with my chest. Very happy I'm not gonna show you my boobs, but there's like a side view. There's just, I didn't want the gummy look. I didn't want to be able to like lick them. <laughs> I'll probably crop that out. <laughs> I really want people to be able to know right off the bat and very rarely do people know that I actually have implants. Uh, their questions usually come from more of like, wow, your boobs are so perky. I'm like, I paid to get them here, so hopefully they are. <laughs> my surgery cost, it was $69.99 for my surgery. Um, Moderma didn't really work very well for me. I actually found that vitamin E oil, like the little um, like bottle of it from CVS, worked wonders. So my scars are almost non-existent now. Bra size, I wear a 34 triple D um, because I like the coverage um, a bit more. Uh, more modest, I guess. But I could probably wear a 34 double D uh, comfortably. Um, yeah, anyways, talking about boobs is always awkward. Um, like I said, people ask me and I am open to answering any questions uh, that they have, but I've never really addressed it on my social media um, or my YouTube channel before. So I'll go ahead and pop a photo on the screen of myself and like workout clothes like pre-surgery and then now. Um, you'll see, again, it's, it's really... A subtle change um, but I'm really happy and I don't regret it for a second let me know if you guys have any follow-up questions you can drop them below like I said I'll answer anything um, but otherwise if you found this to be helpful and you're considering getting um, a breast augmentation yourself give me a thumbs up let me know and I will uh, conclude this titty talk <laughs> okay bye guys <laughs>